Andy here. So in this video, I want to talk about fusing. I think I have solved my problem without even doing any work, which is awesome. So I, I have figured out that all of these are actually already fused. So what happened was I by accident put it in backwards. I put one of these batteries in backwards and, um, Poof, a bunch of smoke came out. So that's the one. I just bridged it over to the next with a little piece of wire. So that'll be fine. No issue there. But it made a big puff of smoke and it was an open circuit. So I had to take it all apart, take this all off the wall. And it's, you know, and then I look at it and it actually blown itself. So, yeah. it um. So in this video, well, this is actually the end of the video, at the beginning of the video because uh, I didn't film a beginning. But anyway, so yeah, these tiny little tabs, they, um, they do blow. So I'm gonna show you my video footage of me trying to get, get this thing to blow so that I can prove to you that I am smart. Smart, smart, smart. <laughs> no, I just, just to prove to you that you don't have to worry about fusing and you can use these things. There's no heat problems, there's no heat built up. There's, uh, it self-fuses itself. So, yeah. Anyways, enjoy the video. Alright, I just did a continuity test. And this one here, I need to fix, resolder. This one here. And this one here. So, yeah. So, yeah, not bad. Four, four spots that need to be redone. So, I'm going to take the board off and resolder them. No big deal. A bit of a revelation, as I'm taking apart the broken uh, tabs here, so you see how they are designed, this thin piece of metal, you'll never believe this. These things are their own fuse. Can you fucking believe that, guys? I just take just any one of these pieces of wire, like from a resistor or capacitor, and I just solder it on, and this will work. Are you ready for fireworks? Okay. It's getting very hot. Okay, that created a lot of smoke. And it's still connected. See it takes a few minutes. See, look at that. The whole thing cooks. It, it takes about one to two seconds for it to blow, but it does blow. I am fully dedicated to proving to you that that is enough of a fuse that you don't have to worry. Okay, one more try. So, I have soldered piece on there, so that we can watch this one and negate, trying to watch six to eight points all at once. And oh! Yep, see? Boom. See? Burnt off. You can see that, eh? There you go. Proof. Finally wasted. Wasted a good board on you guys. Better be grateful. <laughs> you know, if you're ever going to comment any of my videos, this is the the one to comment on. Anyways, let me know what you think. Um, it obviously takes a ton of amperage in order to blow it. But if you by accident put it in backwards or it shorts, it, it blows it. So, boom. Proof of concept. Don't need fuses. If you're using battery clips, because the battery clip acts like the fuse. Down in there. Yep. Boom. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I really enjoy your comments. Please comment on this one. Come on, you guys have to be impressed by this. Like, I know it's this is really jury-rigged ugly, but you have to be... That has to be impressive. Come on. 
Boom. Anyways, thanks guys. Bye. Bullshit happened. My, um, very sketchy and dangerous car audio amp that I use as a fake solar panel. It, uh, blew up. But what blew up? Well, some kind of fuse blew up. Now, it didn't make that big explosion, but maybe it just cracked. There it is. Right there, center screen. Right there, it looks like he has a crack in the middle of him, right where my thumb is. See that? So anyways, I figure maybe it's not coincidence. We'll try fixing two chargers at once. So what I'm going to do, since I have a feeling this is going to blow frequently, I'm going to put two rods here and here sticking out so that I can just replace the fuse wire every time it blows without having to take this all apart. So worth a try. Anyways, so I tried it, it didn't work. So there's definitely probably one of the MOSFETs. It makes a loud, weird noise and blinks, so definitely not normal. But worth a try. Definitely a waste of money, unfortunately. This thing here, this on the left, this transistor or MOSFET blue, can't really see it. But yeah, it blew up. Um, it was a very nice explosion. Okay, I got it up and running. So, I've got my power supply going to my boost converter. 27.65. I have it set at 30.5 30 or, yeah, 30.5 volts and it drops it down to 27, 28 volts. Fluctuating and it's doing, it's able to do 4 amps right now on the uh, charge controller so yeah that'll charge it up quickly so it's six six amps total two from this guy four from this guy so the way that i put these up was um i've got up to seven thousand amp hours so all the between seven and between five and seven amp hours here and 49s 48s and a bit of 5 amp hour ones in there, so 49s and 48s in this one. The idea behind this is that since these are all the same milliamp hours, they will stay balanced to each other reasonably well, because if I mix them then one will always have to be giving the other power. Uh, so like if I put a 35 with a 5, the 5 will always be giving power to the 35. So I don't really want that, but I'm not completely sure. So if I keep all the same milliamp hours together in each row, then it should keep them reasonably balanced to each other. And they won't have to do extra work. The BMS will have to do quite a bit of work, I think. But not... I'll find that out, I'll test it more. But yeah, I'll have to reset reset this number and then I'll do another full full drain test. See this thing's sitting pretty low, but I'll uh, charge it up and then work on it. But yeah.